Today, protesters gathered at City Hall in downtown Los Angeles to show solidarity with the Wall Street demonstrators and also to express their own discontent with the state of politics, government, and life in the United States of America. They have accepted private contracts to murder prisoners, even when presented with serious doubts about their guilt. They have perpetuated colonialism at home and abroad. They have participated in torture and murder of innocent civilians overseas. They continue to create weapons of mass destruction in order to receive governmental contracts. To the people of the world, we, the New York City General Assembly, occupying Wall Street and Liberty Square, urge you to assert your power. Exercise your right to peacefully assemble. Occupy public space. Process to address the problems we face and generate solutions accessible to everyone. To all communities that take action and form groups in the spirit of direct democracy, we offer support, documentation, and all the resources at our disposal. Join us and make your voices heard. The protests began at 10 a.m. with people gathering at Pershing Square and then marching over to City Hall at 12 o'clock. The protesters come from all over Los Angeles and from all age groups. Parents have brought their children, high school students, college students, baby boomers, Vietnam War protest veterans, and senior citizens are all here today to stand in solidarity. At least a thousand people came to City Hall to demonstrate today. The demonstrators had many opinions on what was wrong with the country or what is wrong with the country and also different opinions on what could be done to create change in the United States. Um, I came out to the rally today in solidarity with all our people here in Los Angeles um, who are tired and who have been affected, um, working class and poor people by the cuts um, to our programs and to the bailouts to corporations and banks. What is your uh, sign? Stop stealing from poor and working class people. My name is Yoshi. Yoshi, okay, so what are you doing here at the rally? I'm here just like everybody else. I'm here for change. Okay, so what do you want to see changed? I want to see all these bankers, you know, be accountable for their actions. Um, I want to see them go to jail. I want to see them, um, I just want to see, you know, what, you know, what, uh, I just want to see the right thing. That's all I'm here for, you know, and is that too much to ask for? I'm Sanchez in East LA, a member of the Progressive Talk Radio community, uh, here in support of everybody over at Occupy Wall Street who's uh, basically there trying to stop wars, trying to stop corruption, trying to stop the uh, corporatocracy. Basically, we're fed up with everything. I'm, I'm sure that you've got a lot of people in that little camera reel that have given you a lot better answers. But you know what? We're all part of the 99. I'm part of the 99. You're part of the 99. He's, she's part of the 99. He's part of the 99. We're all part of the 99 here, so basically that's what I'm doing. Um, my name is Mark Medina. I'm with the um, Industrial Workers of the World, the IWW, uh, Revolutionary Labor Union based in South Central. So what brings you to Occupy LA? Uh, quite simply, um, it's, a, it's a great grassroots movement. We want to support it. We do not want to um, co-opt the movement. We want them to remain independent, to speak their own minds. But we, com uh, we completely agree with their philosophy and their statements and their demands. The idea of social injustice in our society, taking, uh, and taking the reins of, uh, of, of society back in the hands of the working class, bringing our democracy back to us, we agree with all their demands, so we want to do our best to support whatever they do in the future. Presidents that have popular support, such as Obama, for good causes, he's not going to be forced, he's not even going to be able to take action because organizations like Goldman Sachs funded his election. So even good people can't do anything as long as people are ignorant. So once people aren't ignorant, what's the next step? Uh, well, if you want a moderate solution, you might want to impose sensible banking regulations. Uh, you might want to restart manufacturing in America. America's entire economy is coasting off of banking right now. 
we are not producing profit. We're, we're creating it out of thin air, and that's the problem. If you want to look at the policies of Germany, Germany's doing great right now, and it's because of their manufacturing sector, and I think that's something else America should bring back. Right now, there are at least 300 protesters still in the park. Behind me is the General Assembly that began at 7 p.m. in the City Hall Park. They are all uh, sitting or standing uh, on stairway, on stairs or on the grass. The General Assembly uh, is currently using something called the People's Mic, in which uh, when, when no amplification is allowed of sound, uh, the, the head of the meeting will we'll speak and then the rest of the people in the assembly will repeat it so that everyone who is participating can hear the message. Uh, an example of this was uh, on Wall Street recently where Michael Moore was there and he was giving a speech and uh, apparently on Wall Street they are not allowed to use amplified sound. So Michael Moore would say a sentence and then the people, the people surrounding him would repeat it so that everyone could hear it who was in the vicinity. Well that is exactly what is going on right he here. Um, the General Assembly is open to anyone who wants to be there, anyone who wants to have their voice heard in the planning of the events from here on out. The General Assembly has been going on all week long. They have been meeting at Pershing Square, uh, planning the event today uh, and from here on forward. The, uh, the General Assembly has talked about various things. They've talked about what their demands are. They, um, uh, I do not know yet what their demands are. They will be posting that on their website, and as soon as we have a copy of them, we will let you know. We will put it on our website. However, I have a feeling that the protesters here in Los Angeles are going to uh, be very clear in what they want, because some of the criticism that has been in the media, in the news, is that the protesters on Wall Street are nebulous, that they're unfocused, that they don't have a, a general consensus of what they want. And uh, some people have made comments uh, in editorials, uh, in the New York Times, in, uh, in some of the business journals, that this detracts from their message, from the overall effectiveness of what they are doing. So I have a feeling that the people organizing, that the protesters here are going to be very clear as to what they want done, what their demands are. I have also heard them talk about today uh, whether or not they will remain in the park overnight. I was not able to hear uh, exactly what the consensus is on this. However, uh, when I spoke to organizers before the protest today, they had said that in order to keep a good relationship with the police department, they were going to abide by city rules, which says that the parks close at 10 p.m. and that they must vacate the park and sleep on the sidewalks. However, the, the sidewalk surrounds all of City Hall, so it won't be as if the protesters will have to go across the street or somewhere where they won't be seen. They'll be very visible. Uh, whether they, they stay on the grass or not, they will be visible. Um, they, they have yet to move onto the sidewalk. There are still tents set up all around me. There's about eight or ten I'd say maybe eight tents that I've seen. Uh, we can show a clip of some of the tents that are around me. So you can see uh, some people are, are definitely planning to stay. Doesn't look like a lot because there aren't a lot of tents. However, people are, have been sitting in this meeting for the past um, two hours. Now it began at seven. So we may see more people begin to set up after the, uh, after the General Assembly is over. In regard to uh, the, the police presence today at the protest, there was actually very little. The protesters began their rally on the north side of City Hall in a, in a grassy area where there's a lot of steps. Uh, that is not where they intend to be the rest of the time that they are here. 
this where I am standing right now is in fact the City Hall Park where they plan to maintain their occupation and their daily protest. However, they were unable to march to City Hall Park initially, initially because of the LAPD picnic. So the LAPD uh, coincidentally had a picnic going on here in City Hall Park. But once the picnic was over, most of the police officers left the left City Hall. And I'd say that I saw maybe about five different police officers, though there may have been maybe as high as 10, but I would say no more than 10 uh, police officers monitoring the rally. There was, I, I have yet to hear of any confrontation. In fact, what I witnessed was the exact opposite. There was no confrontation. There was nothing but uh, warm respect uh, and great communication. The, the, the police officers were cordial, they were jovial, they were posing for pictures with the protesters. I saw uh, a few protesters posing with one police officer who was giving a peace sign. I saw a couple of other protesters posing with several, with maybe three pro police officers uh, who were laughing and joking with the protesters as they held up a, 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 a sign that read love. Uh, a couple of them. There were two signs that said love on them and they posed for pictures. They were very friendly. I even saw one police officer with a home video camera filming the protesters. So it seems like the relationship is very good. It is only the first day so we have yet we will yet to see whether or not this cordial relationship will continue as the protest moves on uh, as the days go on. However, we have had reports come in that the relationship between protesters and police officers in other parts of the country have not been so cordial. In fact, we have reports from Cleveland, Ohio at Occupy Cleveland where protesters were arrested in, at, at Occupy Cleveland. We also have reports from New York uh, where protesters marched over Brooklyn Bridge and uh, the police arrested some of the protesters who were on the Brooklyn Bridge. But we also have had report that these protesters have been released after three hours of detention. We do not know whether the protesters at, uh, at in Cleveland have been released or not. So um, it's yet to see how long these protesters will will be able to occupy City Hall. I, I spoke to some of the organizers before the rally started and they were very determined that their occupation of City Hall would be at least until their demands were met or indefinite. But we will we will see whether or not that they can maintain their ranks, whether they can keep the public interested in what they are doing. Uh, certain, certainly um, media attention will help their cause, but I did not see any major uh, media bans, any major journal, journalists from major news organizations. I, I did not see the local news here today. It, uh, and ironically, across the street is the LA courthouse where the Michael Jackson case is currently going on. The bans from Court TV and other uh, news outlets are parked overnight so that they do not lose their spot for Monday. But despite all their equipment being here, no one showed up from any of those organizations to the protest just across the street. Well, this about wraps up our first report of Inside Out News. Uh, we will be here again tomorrow during the day and we will broadcast again and we will put our video up. We are on live stream. We, we, our videos will be playing on live stream at Inside Out News. You can also see our video on InsideOutNews.org or you can follow us on Twitter at Inside Out News. That is I-N-S-I-G-H-T-O-U-T News.org. Uh, once again, I'm Margo Pies and it was a pleasure and I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.